Hello everyone. Welcome to Economics for Students. In this video, we are going to discuss about determinants of demand. The demand for a commodity is affected by various factors. These factors are known as determinants of demand. Let us now see what are those factors. First factor is price of the commodity. It is denoted by the alphabet P. Next factor is income of the consumer denoted by Y. Then price of substitutes and complements denoted by PR. Tastes and preferences of the consumer denoted by T. Size of the population denoted by U. Distribution of income denoted by D. And expected change in price denoted by E. These are the determinants of demand. The relation between demand for a commodity and its determinants gives us the demand function. What is a demand function? The demand function can be expressed as a functional relationship between the demand for the commodity and the factors affecting it. Hence, the demand function can be written as D is equal to function of P, Y, P, R, T, U, D and E. Among all these factors, we are going to learn in detail about the most important determinants of demand. The most important determinants of demands are price of the good, income of the consumer, price of substitutes and complements, tastes and preferences of the consumer. Let us first discuss about the most important determinant of demand, price of the good, which is denoted by P. Let us consider the good as tomato. What happens when price of tomato goes up? When price of tomato goes up, then consumer will buy less of tomato. Then demand for tomato goes down. Hence, we can say as price increases, demand decreases. Similarly, what happens when price of tomato goes down? When price of tomato goes down, then obviously the consumer will buy more of tomatoes. So, demand for tomato will go up. Hence, we can say that as price decreases, demand increases. Therefore, we can say that price and demand has an inverse relation. That means both move in opposite direction. Next determinant is income of the consumer denoted by Y. Let us understand the relation between income and demand with the help of an example. Suppose the consumer's income is rupees 100. Let us assume that there is only one commodity available in the market which is rice and consumer spends his entire income only on rice. Suppose Price of rice is rupees 10 per kg. That means the consumer can purchase 10 kgs of rice by spending his entire income. Now let us assume consumer's income has increased to rupees 200. So now the consumer can purchase 20 kgs of rice by spending his entire income. Assuming that the price of rice has remained constant. Therefore, we can say when consumer's income increases, then demand for good also increases. And when consumer's income decreases, demand for goods also decreases. Hence, we can conclude that income and demand has a positive relation or direct relation. Next important determinant is price of substitutes and complements 
denoted by PR. First, let us understand what are substitute goods and complementary goods. Substitute goods are the goods which can be used in place of one another. For example, tea and coffee. If we don't have tea at home, we can have coffee as a substitute of tea. Similarly, Coke and Pepsi are also substitute goods. Complementary goods are the goods which are consumed together. For example, car and petrol. We cannot use car without filling petrol. So, these goods are called complementary goods. Another example is pen and ink. Pen and ink are also complementary goods. Let us now discuss how change in price of substitute goods affect the demand for a commodity. Here we will see how change in price of coke affects the demand for Pepsi. We are assuming that price of Pepsi remains constant, only price of coke is changing. When price of coke goes up, then demand for coke goes down. As a result, demand for Pepsi will go up. Therefore, we can say as price of coke increases, demand for Pepsi also increases. When price of coke goes down, then demand for coke goes up. As a result, demand for Pepsi will go down. Therefore, we can say as price of coke decreases, demand for Pepsi also decreases. Now let us see how change in the price of complementary goods affects the demand for a commodity. Here we see how change in price of car affects the demand for petrol. We are assuming that price of petrol remains constant, only price of car is changing. As price of car goes down, demand for car goes up. As a result, demand for petrol also goes up. Therefore, when price of car decreases, demand for petrol increases. As price of car goes up, demand for car goes down. As a result, demand for petrol also goes down. Therefore, when price of car increases, demand for petrol decreases. The last determinant of demand is taste and preferences of consumer denoted by T. The consumer's likes and dislikes habits also affect the demand for a commodity. For example, consumers like to drink more cold drinks during summer months. So demand for cold drinks rises during the summer months. Similarly, demand for hot coffee rises during the winter months. Thank you for watching this video.